do to it? Um, I, I, I don't want to talk about it, but um, I, I, I'm, we're, we're going to rebuild it. Just know that. Don't question this. All right, sounds good to me. Let's go. All right, guys, that's right. We're going to rebuild my old air cannon. I built this thing on 4th of July two years ago, and it's not working. We'll go with that. So, um, we're going to rebuild it. Stick with us, and let's, let's do this thing. It's going to be awesome. So originally, I think I built this as a two foot by two foot cannon for overall dimensions. I don't know that. So these are like 16. These are 8. So let's extend this to 9. I'll make it a little bit bigger, give us a little bit more air. Um, and then we'll figure out these once we make the size and stuff. So. this project we are going to use three two inch D's, two two inch 90's, two of these uh, inch and a half male adapters, a two inch adapter or two inch female adapter, and a two inch thread to an inch and a half thread, and also a inch and a half ball valve. Now this has a little bit of oil in it because it was very hard to turn at first, so we put a little bit of oil in there to kind of loosen everything up and make it easier turn. You want to make sure that your ball valve can be quickly turned because that's going to be crucial to fire firing everything quickly. If you can't turn it quickly you're not going to get all that air coming out at one time. So We're also going to use two pieces of two inch at 16 inches, four pieces at nine inches, and another two pieces at six and a quarter. These are going to make our pressure chamber and our base of the cannon. So let's get building. Alright guys, so we have our two ends. This is gonna go like this on the cannon. We're gonna have one of these on each end. We go clean the other one. And then we're gonna have this in the middle, which is gonna be where our barrel and our uh, valves and everything else come out at. So we're gonna get to gluing this up, and then we're gonna get to build in the valves, and we already have the barrels made, so it should be pretty easy. Guys, so we've set that aside to dry. We're going to make our part of it that attaches to the barrel. We have a small piece of two inch that's gonna go into our two inch female adapter that'll thread into this reducer, which will thread into our inch and a half male adapter. And then that's gonna go on the other end. And then we're going to thread that in to our ball valve. So the entire thing should look something like that. It is a bit excessive. We could just do a two inch to inch and a half adapter. But unfortunately, we didn't think that through and we bought the wrong ball valve. So this is what we're gonna do. It's gonna work anyways. And we can add some stuff in here if we uh, want to down the road. Maybe we'll do a uh, electronic firing system or something like that on this. So let's get to doing that. So our, we're gonna just glue this in because we can. 
Mostly because our Teflon tape is just a pain in the butt right now, and I don't have another roll. Alright, we're going to thread these together. These ones got put together, so we're going to do that now. Okay, we're gonna glue this in. You just cleaned it, I watched you. And there we have it. We have the Canon uh, base and air tank and the main stem completed. And now all we gotta do is throw some barrels on it and uh, go, go see some cool stuff. All right guys, so here it is, the finished cannon. We are going to go and take it outside, hook it up to the air compressor. We made a few modifications to our pressure regulator and we're gonna fire this thing off. Let's go. All right guys, so here it is, the cannon set up. Out there, we have our target. We don't have our thing to make that go straight because I had to cut it apart and um, I'm just going to tip it to hit the target. But this is what our setup is. We have an extension cord here. This is not plugged into the wall. We have this hooked up to our bench power supply back in the shop because we don't have a battery out here right now. Um, I just don't have any batteries on site. But this has 12 volts in it. It is not 120 volts AC. Um, don't do not do this. This is very stupid. We have that hooked up to our switch. We hooked up to our solenoid so we can put pressure in it. And see where we are. There's a little bit of a leak, but it's not too bad. We have our cannon with our valve, so we pull this. It is still really hard to pull, especially one-handed. Shoots out of the air, and we have our target over there, which is a 4x8 sheet of plywood that is bungee corded onto our mini fridge that is... Don't, don't question it. Just... There's our target. We have a assortment of things to shoot. We have our Pringles can, because that fits in our big barrel very well, and we can put anything in there, um, like these empty cans of spray paint. Trust me, they're completely empty. Um, this thing, we're not sure what it is. We think it's like a floating handle for the GoPro, um, but it came with like a bunch of accessories we bought. Um, tennis ball, a foam golf ball, a ping pong ball, a light bulb, um, a bottle of like dirty water. Um, and we're gonna see what happens when we shoot them. So let's set it up and go. First thing to go in is our handle for our GoPro. Nice tight fit. 80 PSI, GoPro handle in three, two, one. <laughs> that was pretty cool. So, uh, so what happened was is it broke that tip off and we have a, uh, an even better projectile. Let's fire that again, shall we? 80 PSI, GoPro handle after, or, GoPro handle test two in three, two, one. <laughs> even better. So uh, we cracked it all the way around and we popped off this bottom cap that looks like it was just glued on. Um, so I don't think we'll be firing that again. Up next, let's try the light bulb. We're just gonna put it in here just like this. Don't know what's gonna happen. Definitely gonna have some glass to clean up. Let's do it. Glass light bulb in Pringles can, 80 PSI in three, two, one. This is gonna end really badly. <laughs> <laughs> it rolled across the ground and then hit the board and burn. <laughs> that was amazing. We need more of those light bulbs. Let's go check out the carnage. So right away I'm seeing the uh, the base of the light bulb and then there's just glass everywhere. 
That was epic. I think I need to aim higher. Okay. 80 PSI water bottle in Pringles can in three, two, one. <laughs> that 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 missed our target. <laughs> By like a foot and a half. Alright, so the water bottle survived that uh tragic accident over the target. I have four feet to hit and I completely missed it. Uh, we're gonna put it back in uh, to the cannon and we're gonna try it again. Let's go. Water bottle in Pringles can, aiming a little bit lower because apparently that was way too high. 80 PSI in three, two, one. Oh, nice. All right, so we just peeled the top of that cap right off. Cap is still on there. We opened it like a can. That's pretty cool. I think we can uh, drop this in and fire it as it is uh, with a little bit of water that's left in it. Let's do it. All right, 80 PSI water bottle with what is remaining of it at target three Two, one, did I mention 80 PSI? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, I can't aim. I can't aim more than them. Why? Tennis ball inside of Pringles can, 80 PSI in three, two, one. Yes! <laughs> it came back! <laughs> if you love something, let it go. If it's made to be it, it'll come back. <laughs> True love is meant to be. Alright guys, so there you have it. The cannon is built. We fired things out of it. We've caused chaos. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to us. We release a video every week and put a comment down below saying how much you liked it. Um, let's say we get out of here. <laughs>